Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shri Vanala. Today's topic is Elastomers, Elastomeric Impression Materials, ADA specification number is 19. Elastomers, Elastomers are rubber-like materials with long chain polymers, slightly cross-linked and coiled structures having glass transition temperature much lower than the room temperatures. These exhibit large elastic deformations and elastic recovery properties even under small stresses. Elastomeric impression materials. These are the materials which deform elastically while removing from the undercut areas and spring back to their original form. These materials can be used to record the impressions of dentulous arcs in the preparation of crown and bridge work, partial dentures, onlays and inlays. They can also be used to record the edentulous arcs impressions in the preparation of complete dentures. There are three types of elastomeric impression materials. Polysulfides, polysilicones, polyether. Polysilicones are further divided as addition polysilicones and condensation polysilicones. Polyether is further classified as light activated polyether and chemically activated polyether. Classification. According to chemical nature or chemical name, it is classified as polysulfides, polysilicones and polyethers. Polysilicones is further classified as addition polysilicones and condensation polysilicones. Polyethers are classified as light activated polyether and chemically activated polyether. Viscosity is controlled by the amount of fillers. According to viscosity, it is classified as very high viscosity material that is putty like elastomers, high viscosity material that is heavy body elastomers, medium viscosity material that is regular body elastomers, next low viscosity material is like light body elastomers that is syringe consistency. According to method of polymerization, it is classified as addition polymerization materials and condensation polymerization materials. Addition polymerization materials are polyether, addition polysilicones. Condensation polymerization materials are condensation polysilicones and polysulfides. According to method of dispensing, it is classified as single paste system that is light activated polyether, two paste system that is base plus reactor paste polysulfides, addition and condensation polysilicones, Two paste system having pseudoplastic property that is supplied in a single consistency which can be used as a tray and syringe monoface material, for example, addition polysilicones. Single paste base paste with reactor liquid, for example, condensation polysilicones. Three paste system that is base plus reactor plus body modifier that is thinner, for example, chemically activated polyether. According to their clinical applications or uses, it is classified as double mix single impression the main object of the impression is for cavity impressions for inlays it is used in the combination of light plus heavy body next double mix double impression that is reliant technique the main object of impression are cavity impressions of inlays and onlays impressions of a crown and preparations of a partial denture it is used in the combination of putty plus light body or putty plus regular body Next, individual tray method that is tube impression. The main object of impression is impression of a crown that is single tooth and it is used in the combination of regular body or light body. Next, single mix single impression. The main object of impression is cavity impressions of inlays and onlays and impressions of partial dentures. It is used in the combination of regular or heavy having pseudoplastic property or light or regular body. Classification according to dimensional stability, flow and permanent deformations. There are three types. Type 1 for which maximum permanent deformation percentage is 2.5%. Maximum flow in compression is 0.5%. Maximum dimensional change in 24 hours is 0.5%. For type 2, maximum permanent deformation is 2.5%. Maximum flow in compression is 0.5%. Maximum dimensional change in 24 hours is 1%. For type 3, maximum permanent deformation is 2.5%. Maximum flow in compression is 2%.
maximum dimensional change in 24 hours is 0.5 percent manipulation of elastomers steps to be followed while manipulating the elastomeric impression materials are selection of materials preparation of customer special trays proportioning and mixing impression techniques application of wetting agents that is surface tension reducing agents on impression as it is hydrophobic pouring of stone dyes first one selection of material the selection of rubber impression material should be based on the clinical usage of the material and the properties required next preparation of custom or special trays a special tray with spacer has to be prepared with acrylic resins by using the primary or preliminary cast of the patient's mouth. For putty elastomers, perforated stock trays or disposable trays can be used. Adhesion to the tray Elastomers are not adhesive to the trays. Adhesion can be obtained by application of adhesives to the trays. For polysulfides, butyl rubber or styrene dissolved in chloroform or ketone can be used. For polysilicons, polydimethylsiloxane and ethyl silicate can be used to create a physical bond with the impression trays. Proportioning and mixing. First one, two paste system. Equal lengths of two paste are squeezed on a glass slab or on a paper pad provided by the manufacturer. The reactor paste is collected on a stainless steel spatula and distributed over the base paste and mixed in a sweeping motion. The mixing is continued until the mixed paste is of uniform color. The mixing should be finished within 45 seconds. If mixing is not uniform, curing will not be homogeneous and distorted impression will result. Next, supplied as base paste and reactor liquid. Certain amount of base paste is dispensed onto a mixing pad and the liquid is placed inside the rope of the paste with stated number of drops per unit length of the paste. Paste and liquid is mixed using the stainless steel spatula until uniform color is obtained. Two putty system. The putty is so stiff that it must be dispensed with a scoop and may be mixed with the heavy spatula are kneaded in the hands until free from streaks or uniform color. Base putty plus reactor liquid. Base putty is dispensed with a scoop. Depressions are made on the surface of the putty base and the appropriate number of drops of liquid are added. A stiff spatula is used to mix the putty base and reactor liquid. Once the reactor is well incorporated, mixing may be continued by hands for 30 seconds until a uniform color or mix is free from streaks is obtained. Initially, mixing by hands is avoided since High concentration of reactor liquid contact with skin may cause allergic reactions. Automatic mixing, auto mixer, that is color plate. It is used for light and medium viscosity materials, especially for addition polysilicones and polyether. There is greater uniformity in proportioning and mixing. Mixing time is reduced and possibilities for contamination of material is much less. Few air bubbles may get incorporated. Impression techniques. Common techniques used to take impressions are multiple mix technique, reliant technique, tube impression, single mix, single impression. Multiple mix technique that is double mix single impression technique or syringe tray method. Tray used is a special tray. Consistencies used are heavy body as a tray material and light body as syringe material. This technique can be used with polysulfides, polysilicones, polyethers. This method is referred as multiple mix technique because two separate mixes are required with two separate mixing pads and spatula. Steps The light body material is first mixed and injected into the impression area. Meanwhile, the heavy body material is mixed and loaded onto the tray and placed over the light body material. The light and heavy body material set together to give a single impression in which light body material recording all the finer details and supported by a heavy body material. When both the materials set together, the impression is removed from with a steady force to minimize permanent deformation and to maximize tear strength. The impression is cleaned with running uh, tap water, disinfected and excess water is shaken off and the gentle stream of air is passed to remove the residual moisture. 
cast a die is poured by pouring type 4 die stone material or type 5 die stones. Advantages Less impression material is needed than the stock trays. Trays are used for single patient, so sterilization is not needed. Uniform thickness of impression material minimizes distortion resulting from thermal and curing shrinkages. Produce dimensionally accurate and stable impression. Disadvantages Construction of special trays is time consuming. The monomer may be sensitive to some patients. These techniques are mainly used for cavity preparations of inlays, onlays, crowns, bridges, etc. Reliant Technique Double mix, double impression technique or putty wash technique. Tray used is adhesive treated stock trays. Consistencies required are putty material for primary impression, light body for secondary impression or corrective wash impression. This technique is most widely used with condensation and addition polysilicones. It is a two-stage method in which the primary impression is taken with putty material and secondary impression is recorded with light body materials. Steps Primary Impression Putty material is placed in a stock trays and impression is taken before preparing the teeth, that is cavity preparation or crown cutting. Space for the wash material is provided by either cutting away some of the putty material from original impression or by using a spacer between the putty and the teeth when recording the primary impression. When the putty material has set, impression is removed and washed. Secondary or corrective wash impression. After the cavity preparation, the light body material is mixed and injected into the cavity preparation. The tray plus primary impression is reinserted to act as a custom tray for light body and held gently until the wash material sets. The impression is removed with a steady force, washed, disinfected, dried and dye is poured. Advantages Rapid curing of putty elastoma that is primary impression need to be held in mouth only for few minutes. Properly used putty wash technique can produce impression with accuracy comparable to that of multiple mix procedure. Stock trays can be used which eliminate time and expense of fabricating custom trays. Metal stock trays are rigid and not susceptible to distortion. Disadvantages Practically, the putty wash system leads to grossly inaccurate impression if a critical portion of primary impression is held under pressure while the wash material is setting. This leads to elastic deformation. It is technique sensitive. Inadequate relief for wash material. Metal trays must be sterilized. Putty is quite expensive. More impression material is required. This technique is most widely used in recording impression for crowns and bridges and cavity preparation for inlays and onlays. Tube impression. Please refer to the video part 5 that is green stick compound. Single mix, single impression. A special tray is used. Materials used are of single consistency, having pseudoplastic property that is regular or light body materials can be used both as a tray and syringe material. This technique is used with addition polysilicones and polyethers as they have pseudoplastic properties that is monophase materials. As these materials are subjected to low shear stress during spatulation, an impression is made in a tray as they have high viscosity. The same material can also be used as a syringe material because at the higher shear rates, the viscosity decreases as much as 10 folds. A pseudoplastic mix becomes thinner when stressed more. One part of mix is loaded on a tray and another part is taken in the syringe. The syringe mix is squeezed on the prepared cavity. This thinner mix has a better flow and records all the finer details whereas the thicker tray mix gives the support for the syringe materials. Common causes for failures of elastomeric impression materials Rough or uneven surface that is incomplete polymerization due to premature removal, improper mixing, too high accelerator or base paste ratio, too rapid polymerization from high temperature or humidity, Bubbles, it is due to rapid polymerization preventing flow, incorporation of air during mixing, inadequate flow. Next, irregular voice, it is due to presence of moisture, water or debris on the tooth. 
Next, distortion. It is due to poor adhesion to the tray and detachment. Special tray get distorted if resin has not completely polymerized. Late seating of tray, the mix being already started polymerizing. Too thick and non-uniform impression. Too much pressure applied continuously even after setting commence. Movement of tray during polymerization. Premature and improper removal of tray from the mouth. Delay in pouring the cast for polysulfate or condensation polysilicones. Too early pouring the cast before 20 to 30 minutes after taking impression in case of additional polysilicones and polyethers. Next, rough and chalky surface. It is due to inadequate cleaning of impression. Excess water or wetting agent left over the impression. Too high water powder ratio and improper mixing of dental stone mix. Premature removal of the stone cast. Next, comparison of properties properties like working time for polysulfide it is 5 to 7 minutes for condensation silicone it is 3 minutes for addition silicone it is 2 to 4.5 minutes for polyether it is 2.5 minutes setting time for polysulfide it is 8 to 12 minutes for condensation silicone it is 6 to 8 minutes for addition silicone it is 3 to 7 minutes for polyether it is 4.5 minutes Stability for polysulfide it is for one hour, for condensation silicone it is for immediate pour, for addition silicone it is for one week, and for, for polyether it is like one week kept dry. Next, wettability and castability for polysulfide it is fair, for condensation silicone it is fair, for addition silicone it is fair to good, for polyether it is good. Cost for polysulfide it is low, for condensation silicone it is moderate, for addition silicone it is high to very high, for polyether it is very high. Next, elastic recovery percentage. For polysulfide it is 94.5 to 96.9 percent, for condensation silicone it is 98.2 to 99.6 percent, for addition silicone it is 99 to 99.9 percent, for polyether it is 98.3 to 99 percent. Next, flexibility percent. For polysulfide it is 8.5 to 20 percent, for condensation silicone it is 3.5 to 7.8 percent, for addition silicone it is 1.3 to 5.6 percent, for polyether it is 1.9 to 3.3 percent. Next, flow percent. For polysulfide it is 0.4 to 1.9 percent for condensation silicone it is less than 0 0.10 percent for addition silicone it is less than 0 0.05 percent and for polyether it is less than 0 0.05 percent next shrinkage in 24 hours percentage for polysulfide it is 0 0.4 to 0.4 percent for condensation silicone it is 0 0.2 to 1 percent for addition silicone it is 0.01 to 0.2 percent for polyether it is 0.2 to 0.3 percent next tear strength gram per centimeters for polysulfide it is 2240 to 7410 for condensation silicone it is 2280 to 4370 for addition silicone it is 1640 to 5260 and for, poly, for polyether, it is 1700 to 4800. Thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Please like, share and subscribe.